Okay, a quick pee selfie. Mother's Day. I'm outside of this church. You can't see it. Um, oh, oh, okay. There's that. Uh, you know, the very steep steeples. Uh, I didn't even think I was going to make it to church. This is called Bel Air. It's the third, or I think for third, third time I've been here. Uh, it's amazing. I uh, just want to describe the experience a little bit. I mean, not here. Um, I was not going to come to church because I've been out of the church for uh, quite a bit, you know, just for different reasons. I didn't feel like I was accepted. And that, of course, that's that's my life story, right? Never fit into any places at any time or um, just don't know somebody's going to attack me or my <clears throat> character, my personality, my looks or whatever. And I'm just saying, not that I would shy away from it. I just didn't think it was worth it to, you know, put your heart and soul to battle somebody's prejudice, right? In a way, so long story, longer, I've been to church for uh, uh, quite a bit, a few years. And um, uh, this is called the Bel Air, this church named Bel Air. I suppose somebody told me about it. I came here on uh, Resurrection Easter, and now I'm... I, I guess I'm here for Mother's Day because I don't have my mother now. How bit, how bit the Lord is gracious. I've seen three sets of mothers now with their daughters, and uh, they're very different people. I think one set of mother is not just now Indian, and uh, the other set is like I don't know for sure, like Armenian. And of course, the lady who was preaching today. Maybe it's a mother's day. Her name is Rebecca. She's Caucasian. She's like gorgeous lady. So uh, they're with their kids, and uh, it just kind of dawned on me that um, I don't have a mother, but God is good. So I'm here, and uh, the only thing I can tell these ladies is like you are so blessed and treasure each other when you have each other's presence, and it don't matter if you bicker. Or, um, or not see eye to eye, what to wear, all that stuff. <clears throat> I, I didn't try to preach to them. I just want them to know that, that it's a blessing uh, to be together here. I mean, unless that, you know, you want to go there and be with Jesus. But right here, right now, it's something that we sort of uh, want to uh, not take it for granted. Okie dokie. That's um, my thought for Mother's Day 2024.